Today, we will talk about fixed asset turnover ratio. The fixed asset turnover ratio measures a company's ability to generate net sales from its investments in fixed assets, such as property, plant, and equipment. It compares net sales to fixed assets and is an indicator of how effectively a company is using its investments in fixed assets to generate revenue. The formula for the fixed asset turnover ratio is net sales divided by the average fixed assets. Net sales refer to gross sales after the deduction of returns and allowances. The average fixed assets are calculated as the difference between the net fixed assets beginning balance and the ending balance, divided by 2. A higher fixed asset turnover ratio indicates greater efficiency in managing fixed asset investments. However, there is no specific number or range that determines efficiency. Analysts and investors should compare a company's ratio to its historical data and to the industry average. The relevance of the ratio also depends on the type of company and industry it belongs to. The fixed asset turnover ratio focuses only on fixed assets, while the asset turnover ratio uses total assets. The asset turnover ratio provides insight into management's decisions on capital expenditures and other assets. The fixed asset turnover ratio is favored by manufacturing companies, while companies with fewer fixed assets may be less interested in this ratio. In the Q3 2022 balance sheet, Amazon reported an average fixed asset balance of $168.75 billion and net sales of $364.8 billion. By dividing net sales by the average balance of fixed assets, Amazon's fixed asset turnover ratio is determined to be 2.16. This means that for this period, for every dollar of fixed assets Amazon owned, it generated $2.16 of net sales. Here are four key takeaways. 1. The fixed asset turnover ratio reveals how efficient a company is at generating sales from its existing fixed assets. 2. A higher ratio implies that management is using its fixed assets more effectively. 3. A high fat ratio does not tell anything about a company's ability to generate solid profits or cash flows. 4. The fixed asset turnover is similar to other turnover ratios such as the assets turnover ratio, though the fixed asset turnover ratio uses a subset of assets to compare a company's activity against. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.